Hello children, today we're going to talk about Marc Chagall, a famous pioneer in a modernist art. And this is an example of his colorful uh, painting. And this was Marc. First, we're going to go over the, uh, the origin of Marc and a brief context of his life. First of all, he was born in a small Russian town in 80, 1887, back when Russia was an empire. Can you believe that this was 125 years ago and his artwork is still relevant? Impressive. He was the oldest of a Jewish family of nine children. He discovered his love for art at school um, since his parents, despite they were not rich, they were able to send him to school, which changed the course of his life and the course of art history. Trying to learn about art and an escape of Jewish persecution, Mark moved around Europe multiple times learning from the styles and techniques of many artists. Additionally, Marc Chagall became to be known for being a pioneer in modernism. Furthermore, some more of his artistic background include that after growing up in a small city in the Russian Empire, as we previously mentioned, and going to public school and learning to draw, Marc started painting in the studio of a local artist where he began experimenting with realist paintings. It is important to highlight that realist is a type of traditional painting that is very similar to um, actual objects, actual people, um, which is very important because later on Mark will become a modernist, which means um, that he will take part in this new wave of art that includes abstract space, um, um, objects and shapes, colors, and is very different to realist painting. Furthermore, after finishing school in Russia, Chagall went to college in Paris, where he began getting inspiration for um, Bohemian and Impressionist artists. After his stay in France, Chagall began contributing to the Russian Revolution in 1917 until he decided to leave Russia and learn to create techniques in Berlin. And this is very important because all of this it allowed for Mark to have a lot of knowledge on many types of artworks, allowing him to then experiment with modernism. And some of the characteristics of his most famous paintings are colorful, abstract, and whimsical. Some might even describe his paintings as a, what you would see in a dream. Here are some of the examples that I am referring to. This was in 1968, at the end of his career, but as you can see, there's many colors, abstract colors, and not a lot of realism, which means uh, paintings that are very similar to real life things, you know? Um, and then here we can see this was a very famous painting, the Grand Bouquet de Reine Fleu. Um, and yeah, lots of colors. And later on throughout this presentation, we'll see how you can kind of recreate this at your own um, and unique way. And then this, a little bit more abstract, but also concrete shapes uh, with lots of colors and contrasts. And then here, the pomegranate, and this was um, her wife, his wife which constantly appeared in many of his paintings um, and in this case she was flowing away which was also one of the characteristics of his art which many times depicted uh, people that were flying away or simply floating. Okay, now we're gonna go on with the art workshop uh, which includes creating your own Marshall, uh, Marc Chagall inspired painting. What you will need includes one multiple, uh, multiple color markers, multiple color pencils, white paper, pencil, and eraser. And here are the steps where we'll go through them one at a time. In first place, outline shapes in desired paint. I decided to draw a bouquet of flowers because I was truly inspired by what we previously saw. It was Mark's a great painting, a Grand Bouquet de Renaud. Um, and I did it in a very simple way. It does not have to be complex. It just has to be inspired by his modernist painting that was colorful and vital. Um, but it can be anything from flowers to houses to birds to anything that your imagination can think about. Next, you're going to color parts of your outline with color markers. And remember to use a lot of colors to highlight such fa a characteristic of Mark Chagada. He used many colors. Um, I here decided to highlight everything in different colors, which I think made my piece of art very colorful. 
and lastly, um, color inside the outline with color pencils to give life. And additionally to this, you can do a little bit of detailing with a color a markers, which allow for the art to be a little bit more complete. Bye, I hope you, can, you have fun with this uh, project based on Mark Chagall. Bye and continue learning art.